guys, my name is Andrea, or you could call me Ms. Z from the York County Library in South Carolina. Welcome back to another Ms. Z's Imaginarium video. Boom! Independence Day is right around the corner. And I don't know about you, my friends, but I love fireworks. I love hearing the explosions and seeing the beautiful colors. However, those fireworks are very dangerous. So let's celebrate by creating our very own Kids Save fireworks display. And we can make that by doing the fireworks in a jar experiment. Did you know that fireworks were invented in China over 2000 years ago? Yeah, that's a very long time. So that's how long that fireworks have been around. You can learn more fun and interesting things about fireworks by checking out this book, Fireworks by Vicki Cobb. And also you can learn more fun and interesting experiments by checking out this book, Crafty Science by Jane Bull. And you can learn all kinds of new experiments to do on your own. So a question to ponder. Do you know what happens when you mix oil and water? Well, if you stay tuned to watch for the answer, you'll learn that. All right, my friends, let's get started. Materials. You will need a clear jar, cooking oil, and food coloring. Begin by filling an empty jar three-fourths of the way with water. Set this to the side. In a bowl, combine three tablespoons of cooking oil along with several drops of food coloring. You will want to add three to five drops of food colorings for each color that you are using. Use a spoon or fork to stir the food coloring into the oil. It will not mix, but stirring will help to break the food coloring into smaller droplets. Now, pour the container of oil into the jar of water. After a moment or two, the oil will settle at the top of the jar, but the food coloring will begin to shoot down and mix into the water, creating a fireworks effect. The food coloring will continue to shoot down like fireworks until all of the droplets have fallen from the oil. Food coloring dissolves in water, but not in oil. Because the oil is less dense than the water, it will flow at the top. The colored droplets will begin to sink because they are heavier than the oil. Once they sink into the water, they will begin dissolving, slowly creating the tiny explosions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.